Hi, I'm Harshit Kirk and today I'm going to show you how you can configure PySpark with IntelliJ IDEA. Currently in market you can see that everybody says use PyCharm for PySpark application but uh, from my point of view, uh, initially I was developing Kafka so I used IntelliJ IDEA but I don't want to keep two IDEs in my laptop so it's important to configure IntelliJ IDEA but I see that there are no videos available for this configuration so I decided to make one and uh, let's do it okay so first you need to uh, have an IntelliJ idea for <laughs> obviously and then first create a project okay then in create project you need to use python if you don't have python shown over here then you can go to preferences and in preferences you can go to plugins and install uh, your python for IntelliJ okay then go to next now name your project like PySpark project finish okay so first of all let's create a package in it okay let's say my module okay so now click on this project bar go to file and check and click on project structure in project structure you see that uh, there are several uh, available items on the navigation bar let's click on modules and add content root now you have to go to your root directory where you have installed this spark like this okay then select python okay so all the contents of pythons have been added and for can uh, for like compilation from Py from Python to Scala code you need Py 4j okay so it's available in lib just add this to and you are done okay just apply okay now let me show you how you can run this program okay so my PySpark project my module okay then add a new python file let's first name this first.py now you need to like import spark session first of all so from pyspark.sql let's import uh, spark session okay then you need to define spark spark session dot builder dot uh, map sorry app name let's name this app is intelligent intelligent dot masters is local all right get our create method that's all and df or let's directly show it dot read dot format is your csv and dot load now i have this file over there you can uh, get its path and copy it here you can run from there also but uh, my choice always i prefer to keep the text files in the module itself so i'll copy it and paste it over here okay so we have now b and this is the content of b.csv so it's now in the same module so just i have to just write dot csv okay and dot show for displaying you top 10 results and truncation is false okay then run cool it now initially it will take some time because uh, indexing will be done and uh, just wait so if everything goes fine we can see our data frame over here okay data frame with this data okay so thanks